Hi, I'm Bill Shutt, author of Dark Banquet. And this is what a bed bug infestation looks like when you're not in the bedroom. Now I'm going to ask bed bug expert Lou Sorkin to activate his bed bug colony. And he's going to do this by merely holding on to it and breathing, which is what bed bugs are attracted to. This shouldn't take long. And right now, I'm warming up the uh, jar the bed bug population is in. And I remove my hand, and you can see that the bed bugs are attracted to heat, mostly heat at this close range, and that there are different sizes of bed bugs, beginning with a one millimeter long first in star nymph that goes through five stages of development until it hits the adult stage which is the reddish brown largest insect you see in the jar all bed bugs require blood for their nutrition and this is what your bed looks like after you get in it And if you keep bed bugs for a living, well, you've got to feed them. And here's how Lou feeds his kids. We just invert the jar on the skin. And they feed through the fine screen mesh at the top of the jar. As you see, many of them don't go right down to the bottom to start feeding. They seem to crawl around haphazardly throughout the whole jar. How long do you leave it on there, Lou? Oh, probably about 10 minutes. And that way, many bed bugs get to feed. Uh, sometimes to help them along, I keep the jar horizontally so they don't feel they have to crawl up because much of their natural behavior, I think, is to crawl upward. And my arm's at the bottom of the jar, so uh, it's probably easier this way to get more than to feed at one time. Well, that's really nice of you, too. Ah, uh, yes. Well, without me, what are they going to do? So even for the short period of time the jar was inverted on my arm, uh, some bed bugs got to feed and you can see that there's a slight raised area uh, on the arm surface and a different coloration to the skin. And uh, you can see here the raised uh, skin surface due to the bed bug feeding for no more than a minute but many bed bugs were feeding at one time at this point and um, this that, is how I react. How long ago was this then? This was only a few minutes ago, and um, if I let them go for probably 10 minutes of time, this would have been raised up much higher into a high platform, and then within half an hour, that platform would have flattened out and rounded out, and it would have been a larger mound, and then that would finally dissipate within uh, 12 to 24 hours. It would then be down to a sort of skin level and the area would probably be very, very bright red due to the hemorrhaging that occurs under the skin. A very heavy infestation in the bed, it could very much 
look like this. So these could be your sheets. Uh, they could be uh, mattress, sheets, pillows, blankets, quilts.